We are set for baseball. And a strike. Now, they, 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 they program now. It kind of has expectations of, of competing for that SWAC championship. Jenkins lofts one into center field. That's his. That's Southern's first base hit of the game. Bup Nelson waits, and he drives this one out into shallow right field. It's down in front of Cabrera. A run scores. Cabrera came as hard as he could, but that ball did not have enough lift to allow him to arrive in time. And William Nelson drives in the first run of the game. A good piece of hitting this inning by these Southern hitters. That ball kind of inside out just hit the other way. Somewhat of a little blooper out to right field, well placed. And then, the, you know, the earlier base hit was. Bianco drifts to his left. He's got it. The runner from third tags and will make it without a throw. And the Jaguars have picked up a couple of runs here. So a sacrifice fly from the bottom of the order. Third, uh, you know, burst onto the scene had a few hits right off the bat and then got hurt and was out for a couple of months. But uh, they really like this youngster. Can play multiple positions. Dugas is on the move. The pitch is outside. It's ball four. Now, usually, whatever you throw, three one, you deep and straight away into the left field corner. This goes. Felix is circling. He's got it in fair territory. The runner at third tags and makes it easily. And indeed, Zach Mathis produces an opposite field sacrifice fly, pushing across Gavin Dugas. So the Tigers cut the lead in half. Much as Saul Garza did. I mean, halfway through the year. He lines this one to center field. Cabrera rounds third. He will score easily. Saul Garza with a clutch two-out base hit. Sent it right back from whence it came. And we are brand new. Now that's the, the Garza that we saw last uh, April and May for, for LSU. That's not a bad pitch. He kind of hits it down near the end of the bat, but just stays on it and drives it right back up the middle. And you see Cabrera come around to score. He just as LSU did in the second inning. Beloso lines this one to right. It is down past the diving right fielder. Garza is being waved home. Beloso is on his way to third base, and the big fellow stands there with a triple. Cade Beloso chugging his way around to third and made it without a play. And Beloso out in front kind of hooks this ball down the line. It, it was a breaking ball that hung up a little bit. But for Southern, Jenkins out there kind of, kind of got caught. He went for the dive. It got by him. And if you're going to dive, you got to keep it in front of you, Lynn. So, you know, it's one of those with two. Uh-oh. Way back this one goes. Don't even think about it. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Gavin Dugas hit that ball about as hard as you can. His first home run of the year. And that was a cherry bomb out toward left center field. Gavin Dugas lights the fire right here. He knows he got it right away. And as soon as it hit his bat, everybody in the ballpark knew it was gone. Not sure exactly where that landed, but for sure up the scores. And Cade Beloso are scheduled to bat for the Tigers. Mathis getting the start at shortstop. First pitch swinging, and he drives it into right field. A clean base hit. Mathis, who had walked and had a sacrifice fly previously. Get Garza with an RBI opportunity. The 2-2 pitch. Hit high. Hit deep. Way back it goes. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Saul Garza hits the top row of the left field bleachers, his second home run of the season, and the Tigers move out with a two-run homer and lead it 6-2. to two. Saul Garza smashing one into the bleachers for the second time this year.
was a 390 foot blast out to left field by Garza, and he did all he did was just apply the the barrel of the bat on the ball. That ball was elevated already. The pitch was way up in his letters, so it would have been a ball had he taken it. And he just basically hit a long fly ball out to left. He misses high, and Dugas has been on base three times. Snyder, a little three-quarter left-handed pitch. Dugas sends that roller up the middle, and it is grabbed by the shortstop, but he can't make a play. Runners on the corners. He did keep it from going into center field, and so Cabrera had to hold on at third. An infield hit for Zach Mathis. He's two for two. Yeah, that, that, that'll look in the box score like it was a line drive to left. Instead, that ball was a, a two-run blast in the fifth. This is hit sharply up the middle. It makes center field. Cabrera scores. The runners advance 90 bases. And Saul Garza has driven in four runs today. Yeah, LSU now on the, with the 7-2 lead. And Garza didn't start the season uh, hot a year ago, but finished it. And now he's picking up where he left off. And that's a good sign for LSU, who needs uh, those veteran 128-pound freshmen out of Airline High School in Shreveport. And there was another great player out of Airline High School by the name of Todd Walker. This one goes way back the other way. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. The first home run of his LSU career, an opposite field drive. Hayden Trebinsky adds to the LSU total, and his home run is number three by the Tigers tonight. Now, that was a great piece of hitting, too. It was a breaking ball in the outside portion, and he just stayed on it. And just drove it out to right field. That big freshman with tremendous power reminds me of a, a young Brad Cressy from the late 90s who went on to be one of the best hitters in LSU history. And he just stayed on that ball. Nothing special, just a line drive to right center field off that breaking ball. Behind the plate, so both brothers getting a chance to play tonight. Here's the throw from foul territory, and it's not in time. Well, is that Doty at first instead? Okay, so we got Doty over at first. Malazzo is actually staying in at catcher. Doty normally a catcher, and you can see why. And that ball hits uh, off his chest. Kentucky, and then the following Wednesday against Louisiana Tech. That liner just clears the leaping Cranford. The runner rounds third and falls down and has to return to third. Cabrero was not going to make a play at the plate, nor should he have been thinking like that. <laughs> Minor League Baseball, you've been there. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Costello finally got it by right. It actually was a little... Ground ball right side. Belozo will flip it over to Costello for the out. LSU takes the safe play, gets the second out. Southern pick. Mathis in foul ground. Squeezes it. And that's all for the Southern Jaguars in the ninth. A run on a couple of base hits. Two left. But LSU wins for the third time in four starts this year. 8-3 the final score. Tiger relief pitching was good again. Perhaps the storyline out of the bullpen, Ronnie, was the work of Stores as he went three innings and looked pretty darn sharp. 